um, what exactly are you protesting about today? Um, we're protesting about the problem of the frequent use of excessive police to attack and try and uh, crush any form of sort of political protest. Can you give me um, an example when there has been use of police? Well, for example, at the beginning of this year, uh, an activist chalked a message of support for the Three Cossacks campaign, which is a campaign of the cleaners of the University of London okay. demanding basic rights, such as sick pay holidays. They chalked a message and then um, the University of London called the police who stormed some house building, uh, assaulted various people and violently arrested this one student who has who is now sitting facing a uh, trial. The police were bending the law trying to accuse him of breaking section eleven, which if it, which under the current law he wasn't. What is section eleven? Uh, basically he was accused of an un of having an unorgan of not informing the police about a protest, but because it was on campus property, it doesn't come under section eleven. And then last night a hundred students were violently oh. <laughs> and attacked by police for peacefully occupying the offices of the University of London. Yeah, so you definitely uh, think police brutality oh, is alive and well? Definitely. I mean, last night people were being punched, kicked, dragged across the road by their hair. There is footage in the Guardian of a student being punched. And what exactly do you want to change if there were... Give me about three goals within what? the next year. Three goals, one. No police on, on campus. They should only be brought in extreme circumstances, okay, such as a case of murder. No further privatisation of services. An ending of privatisation yeah, of education. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. And also more student, also more student, democratic student and staff say in the running of the university. Students do not have much to say. They do not. I mean, as we have seen with the use of police, they do not want students to have a say. I mean, with making it nine thousand pounds, it's sort of turning education to a commodity and students to customers. But if we're now supposed to be customers, this isn't customer service.